Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're doing a challenge that came from my buddy JT over JT's Knife Life. A few months back, he tagged me in five knives with a twist. Uh, it's a challenge basically to pick out five knives out of your collection, things that you know people may or may not know about you, your knife choices, and the last one, kind of a twist. So we'll go over really quick what they are. First, it's going to be a grail knife. So grail for me is two things. One, it's uh, it's got two parts. It's an achievable grail, and another one's like just your un unachievable grail. So for me, I have definitely those picked out. Number two is your tank knife. Um, you know, anything from something that's rough and rugged to something that's going to take just, you know, anything you throw at it. Um, you know, if you've seen my bug out challenge, you know, yeah, what does it take to break the bug out? That one holds up pretty well for a, you know, a 1.67 ounce knife. But anyways, um, number three is the best performer. So what's one, you know, your go-to daily performer? We'll look at this one. This is the modded by JT. This is a standard honey badger that he did some custom uh, work on for me. Uh, kind of made it my own, which is awesome. So Hit them up if you're looking to have some knife mods done, that fashion. But beautiful work, my friend. Anyways, number four is the Shocker. So what's a knife that people probably wouldn't think that you would be, uh, you know, loving and using all the time? And number five is best overall. So what's your best overall knife? Kind of go to um, for everyday carry. And then what's your twist? What's a, you know, a sentimental knife uh, favorite of yours? So, anyways, so let's go ahead and we'll get into the list here. And, again, thanks to JT for tagging me. And I know there's lots of other videos. I'm going to try to link them all down below. Um, I was watching everybody's over the last few months and just finally decided to put my own together. Um, and as JT said in his, man, you're just going to, you know, ask me in a, a week or a month and it's probably going to change a little bit. So, uh, today, here's my list. Uh, so for the grail, I talked about having two uh, different parts to the grail, one that's achievable and one that's not achievable. Um, so the one that's achievable, it's been on my list for a long time, was the 781 Anthem from Benchmade. Now this is one full titanium, or one piece of titanium that's milled out, and it's got an integral locking system mechanism in there that you can see mounts to the spine but just super smooth it's one of my grails I wanted for a long time that was achievable um, also in that category was Benchmade 940-1801 it kinda became available it's an international exclusive it was only available outside the US um, so this one had to be made in the US was shipped outside the US and then shipped back to the US to my collection. So uh, thank you to the knife community for making this one happen. Uh, last year it was pretty cool. So this, the, that's my number one for achievable achievable grails. The one that's just not achievable that is not here, I will put a picture of it, but that is the Cybert Knives Centron. Now obviously his stuff goes usually at a lottery type system, things that the, you know like the gathering, custom knife shows. It's beautiful. So I'll insert a picture here so you can see. We're moving on to the second one. So number two for me, uh, this is the tank. And what's been a tank for me for a long time has been the Benchmade Griptilian. So Benchmade Griptilian, full-size knife, just take a beating. We'll pretty much do whatever you want. Um, has been replaced this year, though. And the one that's kind of been the tank that replaced it for me was the Super Freak. So, the Super Freak for me is just kind of my new tank for 2019. So, it's kind of, you know, the grip's been taking a back seat a little bit, and uh, this one's been getting a lot of work. And obviously you can tell just the beauty of this one. Um, but yeah, it's the 560 uh, BK-1, I think it is, for the Super Freak. But yeah. These are my, that's my selection for tanks. So kind of a bummer. The Griptilian's getting pushed out a little bit, but 
it's still it still is in my daily collection. Uh, helps me with unboxing and breaking down cardboard and stuff. So still use that one all the time. But Super Freak's kind of taking its place for number two there. So uh, best performer number three. Best performer. Now this one changed. So if you would have asked me last year, I would have been like probably looking at my Griptilians. Um, you know, maybe some of those kind of knives, but over the last year, bam, for me, best performer, it's been the bug out. I mean, how can you not have such beautiful options to customize on a knife that just holds up so well? I mean, you know, here's one more. I mean, these, these bug outs just have just a different range of awesome and these are all ones that i use every day you know this is one of the ones that i took a 535 gry-1 which is the kind of the tan ranger green scales and dyed them this nice color for red uh, i also picked one up looking just like this from edc specialties so if you're looking to just have one that's already done like that check them out they make a couple different colors but this one, I did the testing on it, and it just held up, you know? It's held up to everything. So it's 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 my 2019 best performer so far. So anyways, so many great things you can do with that, and I know you guys have seen my bug out videos, but to me, that was number three, the best performer. Um, now, number four is the shocker. So what's a shocker for me? Um, there's lots of things that are shocker, but it's got to be something I carry. So, you know, I think for me, what's kind of done it this year, you guys have probably seen it, but what's been my shocker has been the Southern Grind Spider Monkey. Now, I've only had this the last couple months, but this has been my, this has kind of changed my mind as the shocker, you know. Um, this one's carbon fiber. You've seen the one, this, this one came from Southern grind. This is the spider monkey, but you've seen the ones I have. It's like red G 10 that came from us made USA made blades, the orange G 10 that came from hunt crafted. Um, just, you know, solid. I'm not usually much of a liner lock fan. So to me, that's a shocker. And then the clip, uh, being kind of that short stout clip. Um, had me going, you know, had a couple people, I know Slicey Dicey, JT and some others recommended me check this one out. I think Stossa 23 as well and said, man, I know, you know, kind of what you like and they got their hands on them and they're like, you would dig this and they're right. Uh, fits me great. So it's kind of a shocker that it's not a bench made. It's one that I use every week. Yeah. So Nothing too outlandish, but you know, for me, that's what it is. And number five, best overall. Now this was a hard one for me because I went back and forth between so many different knives. Like what's the best one? Is it a certain variant of ones that I like? Cause you know, it's going to be a bench made for me, best overall, but which one? So I decided you can't do anything else other than just lay out what it is. And this is the Benchmade 940. Now, when I say 940, you know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, choose your variants, choose your exclusives, choose upgrades that you're doing to them. You know, there's so many things you can do with, you know, these knives. And why not? I mean... One of my achievable grails is a, you know, Dama Steel aluminum handled 940. So best overall, it's one that I've carried forever. It's one that I super, super can use for pretty much any situation. Um, some of them I even make sure the serrations are on them so I can do a little heavier cutting. I know not, some of you guys aren't serration fans, so that's all right. It's all right. But, you know. 940 is my pick for best overall any variant i mean you know you can go original aluminum handled you can go 940-2 with g10 
you know, there's, there's variants. I didn't bring them all out here, but you know, the knife works one I heard might still be available. G10 with blue going gear one is the red C tech smoky mountain with the red carbon fiber, you know, this one's uh, upgraded titanium scales and titanium hardware. The scales are from uh, Rock Scale Design. Nice contour milling to them. See that belly right there? It just makes it so comfortable. And these are from Adrian on eBay. Put a link down there. He sells the thumb studs and barrel spacers and stuff. And this is just the 940-1. Uh, threw some blue thumb studs on there and a bug out clip. But yeah. You know, for me, I'm a 940 guy, so you've seen my collection, you've seen my videos, you know that best overall is going to have to go with the 940 for me, so that's that's where it's at for me, guys. I love that one. Now, we go down now to kind of the twist. What's the twist? What's your sentimental favorite and why? So when I start looking at sentimental favorites, um, it takes me back a little ways. Um, and then also there's one from, you know, a few years ago. So first off my sentimental favorite that kind of kicked everything off. This is my original 940. Now, of course it has serrations. You've probably heard this before. Maybe, uh, you can see it's been sharpened a few times. So, but I just, I love it. It's classic, you know, this kind of the powdery feel that you have on a set of new aluminum scales, a little bit of chalkiness. Um, that stuff smooths out over, over the years, you know, you use it, you start getting some of those, you know, beautification marks, you know, like all of us in old age, you know, we get beauty marks, but it's still gorgeous. You know, it's still my sentimental favorite and here's why. So this one, I mean, other than it being eight of a thousand, first production run and this one's from probably 17 18 years ago at least if not more this one came from a personal collection um, this one came from someone at Benchmade um, in the company as part of a fundraiser that we were doing for um, a local I guess organization we'll just keep it at that but they had donated uh, out of their personal collection a knife. This was a raffle knife that I won um, because of its, you know, sentimental value to me. I carried it every day, you know, even though it was eight of a thousand. Um, after being sharpened so many times, they finally were like, you know, you realize like this has a lot of like, you know, traditional value to it. You know, now granted the blade's been sharpened so much and it's been used that. You know, I, I put it away for a while and then I started carrying it again and it got me into really liking the 940s. So, and also Benchmades. Um, so this is, this is one of them. This is one of the, my true sentimental favorites is this original 940. But then a, a few years ago, I had an opportunity where I won a chance, an opportunity to build my own knife. So this is one, it's a full size barrage. The blue is amazing. It's got the neon green lime backspacer, coated blade, serrations of course, gotta have those, right? But to me, this is one that I put together myself. So it was kind of cool that I had the opportunity, you know, this is assisted, but had the opportunity to build this one, put it together. Um, yeah, so to me, those are my two true sentimental favorites. Now I have received other ones as gifts um, and things from very important people in my life and my friends. And those are always gonna remain sentimental to me, but the, these are the two that are the twist um, with the, the focus and most important part being this one right here. So anyways, that's my five knives with a twist. I'm gonna tag two people in this. I know the tag's a little bit older um, but I'd really like to see what Geared Tour Gear has, Sean over there, and also Big Red, Big Red EDC. So I'd like to see what you two guys have, what you guys can come up with. Um, you know, take an honest look at your collection, take an honest look at what's going on, you know, in the community 
with yourself and really see like what's out there you know what do you guys have in your collection that's your grail tank best performer shocker best overall and then your twist your sentimental favorite so anyways appreciate you guys checking out this long video um, this is kind of a me to you guys video and all of your guys support has been awesome again I'll put some links down below to where you can pick up some of these extra parts where you guys can see some of these other review videos but I hope you guys are doing great I hope you guys have an awesome day do something kind for someone and take care